Hello and welcome, I'm Raymond. Today, we're diving into the heart of Infor OS, exploring its versatile capabilities through the lens of its API gateway. As you'll see through this demonstration, Infor OS features a robust API gateway, includes an ION API suite with workflow endpoints, and allows you to seamlessly integrate your applications to trigger workflows. To start off, navigate to the Infor OS portal and locate the API gateway. Click to open it up. The gateway's initial screen displays a list of all available APIs. Using the search function at the top, I easily locate the ION suite. Double-clicking on it reveals a comprehensive list of endpoints. Among these are two workflow-specific ION process endpoints. Our focus is on the ION process application endpoint, so we can proceed by clicking on its documentation. We're greeted with the Swagger UI interface for this endpoint. Swagger is a standardized UI developed by an industry group that ensures consistency across various API gateways and connection points. What's great about Swagger is its dynamic documentation, allowing users to test the API directly from this page. Scrolling down, we find the Workflow Start API listed among available methods. Clicking on it expands the details revealing essential information such as required inputs, specifically a logical ID and a JSON body. It also provides a helpful example demonstrating how to structure the JSON. Now let's click the Try It Out button to actually execute this API. For the first input, the logical ID follows this format. However, it's important to consult your system administrator to confirm your environment setup. The second input involves a JSON body. As mentioned earlier, the generic JSON displayed here serves as an example or guide for you to use. Let me paste in my JSON, which specifies the workflow name we're initiating and the pre-assigned instance name. As you can see in this example, our workflow name is WF underscore demo, and the instance name is test instance. Even though this workflow doesn't require any inputs, I'll include one for demonstration purposes. Now let's hit that execute button. Below in the server response section, we've achieved a flawless 200 signifying a successful execution. And the response body reveals the ID of the workflow that's up and running. I'll be using Postman, a popular and freely available API client easily found online. I've already pre-configured our client for efficiency. Let's also display our Infor OS API on screen for quick reference. As you can see, I've chosen the POST operation because the API gateway specifies that the workflow start method is a POST method. Next, I'll need to input the endpoint URL. Let me grab that from the request URL and paste it here. I've already set up a key named logical ID and filled it with the required value for our API easy peasy so far. Moving on to the authorization tab, where we'll select OAuth 2.0 as our authentication type. I've pre-filled the necessary token details, which you can learn more about in our comprehensive video guide titled, How to Call an Ion API. I'll make sure to provide a link below. Let's click on Get New Access Token. Postman will initiate a handshake with Infor's Cloud OAuth authentication. You'll need to sign in, and upon approval, Postman will display the token for your use. Click Use Token to add it. It may seem complex at first glance, but it's actually straightforward, just as is explained in the instructional video I mentioned earlier. Now. Let's briefly check the header tab, though no action is needed there. Moving on to the body tab, where we'll enter our JSON to call the API and kick off the workflow. Ensure the format is set to raw and JSON is selected from the dropdown. Let's paste in the script we successfully tested previously when we did a try it out in the ION API section of this video. Finally, hit send to trigger the chain of events we've set up. Did it work? Check this out. I've received a status 200 OK and a job ID of 55710. 
back in the In4OS portal. Let's view active workflows in ION. I'll begin by searching for our workflow. We can see the last one has a status of running. But let's confirm it's ours by clicking on Workflow Instance over here. And there's the matching ID we got from Postman. That wraps up our demonstration. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more valuable insights like this. Dive deeper, build greater, and accomplish more. Developer.info.com The place where your concepts become reality. Explore with us today.